Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Oak. I am Siddharth and today's video is going to be a little different. Instead of our usual reviews and comparison, we are diving straight into the raw performance of three mid-range powerhouses. The IQ Z9S Pro, OnePlus Nord CE4 and the Nothing 2A Plus, all coming in under 30,000 rupees. Both the IQ and OnePlus are packing the Snapdragon 7 Gen 3, while the Nothing 2A Plus is powered by the MediaTek Dimensity 7350 Pro. So buckle up, because we are about to hit you with some serious benchmark action. But before I jump in, if you are new to the channel, smash the subscribe button and hit like for more tech goodness. Now let's set the stage. All phones are on the same Wi-Fi, fully charged, airplane mode on, refresh rate set to 120Hz and performance mode fired up. Let's start with Geekbench and see who comes out on top. As you can see, IQ takes the lead by finishing the test fastest. Now at number 2 we have OnePlus and surprisingly, nothing took a lot of time to finish this test. Now let's check the temperature first. So nothing is at 32.1, IQ is at 31.4 and the OnePlus is at 31.7. So the single core score are almost the same in the OnePlus and IQ. If you look at the score of nothing, then the single core score is 290 and the multi-core score is 981. That is very low because the OnePlus and IQ come with Snapdragon processor and nothing comes with MediaTek. Now, if you look at the battery of all the phones, the IQ is still at 100%. While as OnePlus drops to 96% and nothing is at 98%. Now, I will put some load on these bad boys by running Antutu on them. Here OnePlus completes the test first, followed by IQ and then nothing. Let's do the temperature check as well. Now OnePlus is at 34.1, IQ is at 34.9 and the nothing is at 36.4. If you look at the GPU and CPU performance, then OnePlus comes in front. In the memory management, it almost gets close to the IQ, yet again, better than nothing. If you look at the overall score, then the OnePlus wins here. On second position, we have IQ and on third, we have, well, nothing. Let's give these phones one more chance to perform well and see if they can maintain their performance. Here again, OnePlus completes the test first, followed by IQ and then nothing. Surprisingly, the results on the nothing have turned out to be very low on the second attempt as well. Now let's see. Which student impresses me by making a good green graph in 15 minutes? And I'll check which CPU is more stable. So students, your time starts now. Parampara ko follow karte hoye, we will do the temperature test again. The OnePlus is at 38.7 degrees Celsius. IQ is at 42.4. Nothing is at 40.2. If you look closely, you can see stability-wise, the IQ is ahead of all with 95%. Closely followed by IQ Z9S Pro on the OnePlus, the CPU throttled to 63%. So the test is done. In the IQ Z9S Pro, I didn't see any throttling. The phone is also very stable throughout the test. If you look at the average and maximum performance, then IQ is at first position, OnePlus is at second position, and the nothing is at third position. But as you can see on the OnePlus, the CPU throttled to 63%. Now I guess we should give them a rest and let them cool a bit. It looks like their temperatures have cooled down. Do you think they'll be able to maintain their performance now? Now I'll start my favorite 3D mark test. We'll be focusing on the GPU performance and seeing how well they can maintain stable frame rates over an extended period. The OnePlus is at 39.8 degrees, IQ is at 41.5 and nothing is at 42.2 degrees. If you look closely, you can see stability wise the OnePlus and nothing, tied with 99.6% closely followed by IQ Z9 Nice Pro. But you can do heavy gaming on OnePlus. As you can see, 
there isn't much difference between the best loop and lowest loop scores on the iQOO and the OnePlus, indicating that both devices can handle demanding games. So there you have it. Our test showed that the OnePlus Nord CE4 and the iQOO Z9 S Pro were in a close battle. The iQOO took the crown in Geekbench and CPU throttling, but the OnePlus edged ahead in and 2 and 3D Mark. Also, extra points go to the OnePlus Nord CE4 for being the only phone in this list with UFS 3.1 storage, making the user experience much smoother. On the other hand, iQOO is the battery champ with its massive 5500mAh battery. It held up like a pro during our tests, with minimal performance tips. Plus, it flaunts a sleek design, a stunning curved display, and much better cameras than the Nord CE4, making it a fantastic all-round choice. The Nothing Phone is a bit of a mixed bag though. Its unique design and clean software are definitely eye-catching, but its performance didn't quite make the cut. Benchmarks were underwhelming, it got warm during gaming and the battery life was just okay. In the end, it all comes down to what you prioritize. If you are after a gaming powerhouse, the OnePlus is your go-to. Need a phone with balanced performance and a big battery, then iQOO's got you covered. And if the unique design is what you crave, the Nothing Phone might be your match. Let us know in the comments if you like to see more videos like this one. I'll catch you in the next one. Till then, take care of yourself and thank you for watching.